So first, my apologies for our ranges and ovens not operating, but good chefs know how to improvise and good cooks know how to improvise and that's what these guys have done. We had a couple of professional chefs back out on them, on us. He says, this, is, this format is too complex. He says, I thought this was gonna be fun when I decided to join the organization. He says, this is too much like work. L let, me, let me ask my chefs and cooks, how many of you have had a good time, a fun time, up to this point doing this? Huh? And John, Johnny's busy, Johnny's busy, but he's got his hand up too. So, and, and <laughs> I reached out to Jerry Simonetti, who is owner and head chef at Lily's Bistro in Lake Wiley. And he is also a cum laude graduate of Johnson Wales University. I called Johnny up and I said, uh, Johnny, I got to have, you know, a couple of good cooks to help Jerry out. And Johnny was very willing to help. I was supposed to be back here cooking until everything went haywire today with these blasted ranges. The first thing that's going to happen is the teams are going to plate the dishes for the judges over here. First judge is Christian Beach. His dad, Santa Claus, Rick Beach, uh, Marshall Van, who has been a judge before and Kyle Robley, who has been a judge before, and we've got Captain Tom Eaton. So the judges will be served first, and theirs will be plated for, you know, presentation, for creativity, prettiness, and all of that kind of stuff. And that's one of the judging criteria. What we're doing is we have for the aperitif uh, that will go along with, with your appetizer is uh, regular old fashioned. And when I say regular old fashioned, it's not an old fashioned that's like, a, that's like a fruit salad, okay? The only fruit in it is zest of an orange peel that's zested right on top. The fresh glass will be used for two neat drinks that will be served. Two bourbons. One is a Woodford Reserve. The other is a Maker's Mark 46, which is a weeded bourbon. And then the last is, an, is a digestif, uh, which goes with dessert. And the digestif is a Sazerac, which is basically an old fashioned, uh, this jazzed up with absinthe which is an anise flavored or licorice flavored uh, drink. Christian Beach, what qualifies you to be a judge? I've done a lot of uh, traveling thanks to uh, my dad and him taking me on trips when I was a lot younger. And I've got to dine in several countries abroad, Spain, France, Italy, Greece, Turkey. I am not in any capacity a shy eater. I like to try anything and everything and understand what it is, the history behind it, and why it's supposed to taste the way it does. All of that very much interests me, so I would say those are my qualifications. I was honored to pay for everything he and his brothers ate. So um, so the same experience is I, I do cook a fair amount, um, mostly out um, in our outdoor kitchen in the back. So um, we try a lot of different stuff. This weekend we tried a gogujon and kimchi pizza. So like to mix things up. I worked uh, 32 years as a professional sailing yacht captain and worked with professional chefs all during that time. And I love to cook. Yeah, I, I would say Dick Odom's probably qualified me. And you know, I love to cook. We have fun, and um, Dick and Jody have just been 
well, lots of fun to hang out with. And Dot, uh, Dick's gotten this thing going together and uh, going for everybody. And I, I really uh, look forward to the next time. But we, my wife and I have traveled all over the United States. We've been out of the country several times and eating a lot of different foods, but uh, just a lot of fun. Kyle Robley is uh, back with Mac Forehand and they're making up the old fashions. I will speak to Kyle. Kyle has dined all over the world as well and he certainly uh, seems to have a good palate. And uh, we're gonna find out just how good he is when we serve up these old fashions. All right, so we've, we've got the professional team right here. They're getting ready to uh, serve their appetizer around in about 10 minutes. And when we do that, then Chef Jerry Simonetti is going to tell you a little bit about his dish and how it pairs. Uh, looks like it's going to be outstanding with some beautiful, beautiful food over there. Yeah, this is the, uh, you know, this is the newcomers. This is the uh, non-professional team. This is the amateur chefs, but they're by no means amateur. They've got a lot of experience among them. Got some beautiful plates getting ready to go to the judges as appetizers in about five or ten minutes. So, again, these will get described to you by the, by the cook when they, uh, when they get ready to present. We got the first plates going out to the judges. Uh, Dick's taking the plates from the professional team and... But Jim here is taking the first plates from the uh, amateur team. We shall call them the cooks. We got chefs versus cooks tonight. Judges, we got Chef Simonetti coming up. He's going to tell you a little bit about his dish. It's a pan seared pork tenderloin with a orange scented and basil Hayden goat cheese. And uh, Billy. Thank you, Chuck. Good evening, judges. I'm uh, Billy Odom, and we're presenting tonight our team a organic medjool date stuffed with a Bella Vitano cheese, and it's wrapped in applewood smoked bacon with a bullet bourbon reduced balsamic glaze with orange zest. Enjoy. We are back here to the cook team, getting a little pasta ready for the first entree course. Woodford that's the reserve going into right, the next. That's the key. This is a caramel popcorn chocolate and a bourbon spiced honey. You have to take a little bit of the popcorn chocolate and the honey, take a bite and then a sip. Take another bite and then another sip and you'll see where I was going with it. This is a Pene Regate number 66 gluten-free pasta and it's served with a roasted red pepper roasted tomato sauce that's been flambéed with uh, Woodford Reserve, the bourbon that it's being served with. And it's also uh, accompanied by some grated Parmigiano Reggiano cheese with a little bagel and roasted asparagus on the top. Enjoy. Moving back to the chef's table back here. Chef, what kind of fish are we cooking? This is a red snapper. Beautiful red snapper here that he is topping with the... It's a charred, uh, charred peach glaze. Charred peach glaze, wonderful. Yeah, so this apple bourbon wine a pork tenderloin, sorry. Excellent. With a uh, mashed potato, uh, zucchini squash, cooked veggie, and a bourbon peppercorn cream sauce. Have to have the bourbon. 
Got to have bourbon. bourbon. I see that the gray team has already plated for the judges. Y'all may deliver those to the judges. Okay, Chef Simonetti. So this is a pan-seared snapper with a charred peach and bourbon glaze. Apple bourbon brined pork tenderloin with a bourbon peppercorn cream sauce, zucchini and mashed potatoes. So the food's been delicious, absolutely, and and presentation's been excellent across the board. I think on the on the on the flavor side is where the the food really excels. And it's going to be a really difficult decision to pick a winner. I, I can only ditto what Kyle has said. It's um, my hat goes off to both teams here, and you know I, I just I love everything that they've had. Um, there's there's not been one thing. Um, that that I have on either team that I've said, nah, not really for me. So I, I, my hat goes off to both teams. I have to agree that both teams have done a great job producing a lot of nice food, a lot more food than we can possibly eat. I mean, the, the, it couldn't be more different, the, the, the two that would come at the same time. And then, then they came different this way the next yes. time. Yeah, right. It was just, uh, just amazing. Yeah, I, I mean, I have to echo that, the, the choices between one great dish versus another great dish. I will tell you that I think the creativity tonight has been off the charts. I mean, there's there's been some really creative dishes that I never would have thought of that my wife is absolutely going to love. So <laughs> taking those home for sure. I mean, I don't know if I could phrase it any better than the collective. Um, a lot of really impressive dishes, a lot of outside the box creativity, and some bold flavors in ways you really wouldn't anticipate. And it, it's just been fantastic on both ends. It is a really tough decision between option A and option B, both of them being awesome. So, wonderful. What you got in the whipped cream there, Jerry? Looks great. It's what's on the strawberries is what's different. So we got a little sugar, a little bourbon. What else we got in here? A little salt. Sugar and bourbon with a little bit of salt on the strawberries for secret juice. All right. And again, we have very different going on here. You want to tell me about it? So we've got a Maker's Mark bourbon cream cheese brownie a la mode. So these are macerated berries macerated in sugar and bourbon with a Chantilly cream and a spiced chocolate drizzle. We're getting close to doing our voting and the, the judges have at least a partial list of things that they have been looking for. Originality, creativity, uh, presentation and appearance, aroma, taste, economy, making the most with the least, special and or secret ingredients, cooking hacks or techniques. Now, the judges have just given these ideas about what to look for, but they're given no metrics. I haven't advised them on how to grade any of these or how much weight to give to any of these. And so what I am asking them to do this time is to vote for the red team or the gray team. So I'm gonna start from the top. I got gray. One for gray. From the next one is Gray. The next one is gray, and that's a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Now, just so you know, the next two are red. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, I mean, it, it doesn't get any, it doesn't get any closer than that. And I want to thank all of the judges, all of the judges, for what I you voted. did. You voted. <laughs> you voted. And Johnny Smith, thank you too. Uh, thanks to the great team and congratulations to the great team. Monte, great job. Jim King, great job. You get to smash the glass with the skillet. That's what skillet. That's what the smashdown is all about. Congratulations. Well, for me, it was not an easy decision at all. I mean, it went for me as we did, went down the sheet. It was going this way, going that way, going this way, going that way. And in the end, it was not easy to decide. I want like the popcorn and chocolate chips. Honorable mention. That was amazing with the bourbon. That was that was probably the best pairing of the evening. That was fantastic. Yeah. <laughs>